Thumbnail, thumbnail. Let's go. Let's just to to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we're back. Welcome to another episode of Head to Head Battles. Hey, what's up, guys? Why are we whispering? I don't know. Today, we're doing a what we haven't done in a long time. Yep, it's a return of product review. Product review. So, on the table for, wait, before that, uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, mm -hmm. and always hit that notification bell because you are Team Susu. No, no, no they're Team JoJo. What are you talking team about? Team Susu. Anyways, on the table for you, we have two products. And uh, as you know, whenever we do a product head-to-head -head review, we split it up into five different categories. In this one, our first category is price. Second is size. Third, securability. We have utility. And lastly, durability. durability. And, and the last one. our little secret personal opinions. Uh -huh. um, now we have a score out of 30, so it's five in each category. Right. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay. Well, what are you actually doing? Uh, what product are you doing? So in, in front of me, I have the ultimate guard, twin for the tray, Xeno skin. And in front of me, we have the VCW flip and tray. Okay, so it's a single flip and tray. Yeah, it's a single. So um, let's get started, Round right? One. So on Amazon, which, which is where I do most of my shopping because Amazon Prime is amazing. Most of the people do shop on Amazon. Yeah, so this anywhere, it comes in a lot of different colors and the less popular colors are around $27. What? But the more popular colors are about 35. So average about $30, right? Okay. So you can, you can think about $30 and it's a lot. For a deck box, it's a lot. That's so a hefty pricing right I would have to give it about a three. Three sounds nice. Com uh, compared to this thing, and, and tell them why, Joe. Reasonably, because it's, um, if you go to Amazon or go to the BCW website, you could find this at about $16 to $17 range, but that's the cheapest one, which is the white one. Oh, the white one is the cheapest. White one is the cheapest. Oh. And then there's a, uh, oh, we're going to color, which you go to color, right? Oh, later, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, it has four colors, but yeah, the white one is the cheapest. So okay. I'll give it a score of five. Five out of five. I have to agree because if you really think about it, for one of these, I'm sorry, for one of these, you can get two of those. Right, so what's the point of getting two of that? I actually got two of this. Listen, once you go double flip and tray, you never go back, okay? I like, I like the first joke. So, uh, <laughs> next, <laughs> next is size, okay? So now Next we have size, mm -hmm. and we're going to split size into two different categories. Right. We have the casual player size, mm -hmm. and then the tournament player size. The competitive pros. Yep. So for the competitive players, you don't need a double deck box, right? Because one, you're only using one deck in the tournament. Mm -hmm. And two, if you put two decks in here, and someone steals this, or you lose it, oh. you lose losing both decks. And the deck box. And the deck box. So for that, I would have to give it a three for tournament players. But now for casual players, on the other hand, though, this is a godsend because there are two decks in here. Oh, see, you just went over my. Relax, mind. relax. <laughs> because there's two decks in here, you can have a deck for you and your friend, mm -hmm. or a tier one deck for tournaments, and and a casual deck for when you're playing with your friends. Oh, okay. I'll have a rogue deck myself. Yeah, or a rogue deck, right? So you have more options there. So I would have to give it a solid five for your casual player in terms of size. Right, so that average is around four. four. Right, mm -hmm. that's nice. Now, for my product, my BCW, uh -huh. uh, let's just set the stage, tournament. Um, just like you said, you don't want to bring two decks right. in case of you losing the deck. So, um, it is a single, uh, it's a single deck. So, right, it's a single. So, obviously, I would want to give, you know, just five out of five for tournament. Right. Because you only need one deck. Exactly. Like it does its job. It does its job right. for the price it has. Uh, but the about the casual player, it, it's in a little lackluster. Right. It is a little lackluster. Right. I mean, it is nice, but it's not two decks. It is not. And compared to you know, your, your two decks, it's, it's a product review, you know, battling. It's a comparison video. So if I have to compare it to yours, uh, yeah, casual player would like it. Definitely not. They would, they would be like, oh my god, it's two? I know. Like it's, it's just, You're just like, yo, check out my deck. Hey. And then you're like, yo, check out my other deck. Yo, don't, don't you remember the first time I actually came and I saw this box and like, what? Is that? Yeah, he was like, Susu, what is that? I was like, let me show you what it is in a duel. Yeah, and, I, and I dueled him with both decks at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think that was a uh, true Draco and something else. Uh, yeah. I, I forgot what it was. Yeah. But you only do one, so you know, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, casual player, I'll give it the score of four. Okay, so five for tournament, four for casual. Mm -hmm. Divided by two would make it. 4.5. First time you have a decimal. Yep. That's our first half number. Okay. But we'll keep that score though. Yep. Now, 
for secure building. Round now, three. I like to put my deck boxes through the shake test. So here we go. Right. Your turn. So it's your turn. Oh, I shouldn't do this too much. No, what? It holds. Yeah. So for secure ability, um, five for me. Five for me. As well. You know why? Because the cards didn't fall out. I feel like you know, like think about how the how the magnets are placed on this, right? You're, you're gonna be putting this in your bag, right? So I mean, the flaps aren't gonna come undone, and no one's you know hail marrying this deck box. Huh? <laughs> Not yet. Unless you spend three, unless you spend like six hundred dollars on a deck, and you lose to a thirty dollars subterra guru deck. Then you might launch this across the room, but even then, I feel like it'll hold. I think I'm gonna cry if I miss it. <laughs> nah, I'd probably just chuck my deck box. Six hundred dollar. Yeah. Bye bye. So, for our next one, yeah, the utility. Wow. Utility. Wow. Now, I automatically win in utility, and let me tell you why. So, JoJo's <laughs> dice tray is a single. Yeah, no, big. A a a. Don't compare the size. <laughs> don't, don't. My dice tray is yay big. Okay. So you can. You can see that I have more utility, okay? <laughs> and on top of that, I hold two decks. Of course. So already I double your utility. No, why are you? <laughs> do, you do you know, let me tell you right now, do you know what the best way to impress a girl is? No. It's to show with one of these at your locals. Did you know that? No, I don't. This is how you, this is how you. That's how I get girls? This is how you get girls playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. You show up with the Xeno skin. $30. $30 oh. ultimate guard. Oh man. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's not what they talk. What are you kidding me? You, you dare violate my deck box? Oh, oh, oh. My yeah. virgin deck box? Is it virgin? Oh, that's two, goodness. two, two decks. <laughs> In case you would die. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> so for utility, I'm going to give myself a five. Okay, um, well, you, yeah, you kind of spoke out a lot for you know, the PCW as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it loses out on the utility because it only has one you know, cartridge. And a smaller dice holder. I mean, not a, granted, this isn't magic. You don't really use this much dice, but nonetheless, it's good to have the extra room, right? Right. So, let's just give a score of 3 out of 5. I'm a little disappointed, but yeah. that's what the score we, you know, we give it, right? Right. So, last option here is durability. Wow. Now, my deck box is made from Xeno skin. So, even if I scratch this deck box, right? No matter what I do, it doesn't leave that many marks. Actually, it kind of filed my nails down. Yeah. But that's okay. Okay? And, like, it's not, it's made from, like, I think reinforced cardboard. Because it's definitely not plastic wood, but it's definitely reinforced cardboard. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, I like how it feels. Right, leathery. right. It's it's uh it's a felt interior Whoa. with a Xeno skin exterior. Okay, are we sure? Oh, we're not... Wait, 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 wait. Thumbnail, thumbnail. Let's go. Let's do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. So, <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> My product. Okay. Uh, BCW. So right now it's um, coated in a fake leather. Fake. Full, full leather. Yeah, full leather. Inside is the uh, same felt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, is the same quality though? It is. Wait, this is like really sticky compared to this. Oh man, you're already. No, it's honestly, no, it's honestly like, I feel like better felt than the Ultimate Guard. Actually, I, like, in my opinion, I think the felt in here is way better. I mean, this is your, you know, deck box. I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, try to feel up your deck yeah, box. Don't, don't violate, don't violate my deck box, yeah. Ah, you do. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that actually is softer than my. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Sometimes a girl likes guys who are a little rough around the edges. Man, why, why are you bursting these two? I, I feel like I'm gonna lose right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been using this for a while, like a few months. Right. And you know, it, it was doing its job. Um, and durability wise, I mean, oh, man, I, I don't know. Because yeah, because it's a little white felt. Right, and the full leather, the full like, leather, full like, leather. You can see that. Oh, 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 excuse like, me. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera. <laughs> excuse me. Can you? Can you see what I just did to that thing? Like, yeah, she just scratched it. Like you can leave a mark in this here. You know what? I'm gonna sign this because I feel like this is what we're gonna be giving away. So oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna imprint this with a big M for Minsu or oh, I should just S S. I can't. S is hard. S is like swervy, man. Yeah, we'll put M J. Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh. Okay. So okay for utility. I'm oh, sorry for durability five for me because. You can't beat the Xeno skin next year. I honestly don't think I can. Um, yeah, I, I feel a little, you know, a little down right now because I'm moving a 
somewhat of an inferior product. It's not. It's not inferior. It's, it's not. It's not. I'm it's, not. It's, you use it guy. differently. But I mean, honestly, what would what would you give it for durability? Uh, I'll just give it a four. Right? A four. Okay, four out of five. Now, for our final um, personal yes, opinion, um, yeah, honestly. I've had this deck box for about two months now, and it's just so good. Like, no matter where I take it, it's always a conversation starter, because it's so clean. And not even just that, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals, right? Like, anywhere I go, like, to play casually with friends, they usually come in with, like, one of those plastic, like, one of these, right? So, like, oh, no, 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 no. yeah, so if you go to, like, if you have, like, casual friends who play, they'll usually throw... You know, take out their decks out of one of these, right? Yeah, actually, it's the funny thing because we actually know a friend who came with the box. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Naoki. Hey, Naoki. Um, but yeah, and then you whip out one of these, and they're like, "Wow, that's dope. Where can I get one?" That, that's my actually the that was my response to you when you got it. <laughs> right. Sure, the black right, right. tray right right back there. So for personal opinion, I have to give it a five because it does it. It does so good in a lot of categories, and I fall more along towards the casual player than the competitive player, right? Good. Because I play a little bit more casually than I do competitively, this deck box works for me. So personal opinion, I have to give it a solid five. Ooh, man, you just love this. Thing. I do. So my total score is twenty-seven. Can you beat that? Can you beat that 27? Well, I have to give my personal opinion. That's right. right. What is your personal opinion? Unfortunately, I had, cannot give 5 out of 5. Uh, just my personal opinion. Because I'm more into like a simplistic style. Um, just a carry move. Yeah. Joe's favorite deck box. Oh, man. The Ultimate Guard Boulder. We did, we did a review on this. We actually did. And I was up against it. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I had the set. That tower that I was reviewing, and I, it's still holding my uh, layer of darkness deck right now. And what happened is, I, mean, I, mean, I just got, you know, I just got. Joe took my boulder to put his striker <laughs> deck in. That's what happened. This really simple design, and it's doing its job. I mean, I mean, I could literally just throw it, and you could. Going, it, could be, it could be fine. It would be just fine. Yeah, it's a hard, it's, it's a hard deck box. And um, I don't know if you guys like um, have more preference in which kind of deck box you have. Uh, but remember like a Yu-Gi-Oh anime when he had like the, the buckle Right, the buckle with the deck in it I'm, I'm, I'm into that, I'm what, into that <laughs> but It was more of like a leather purse, wasn't it? Like a leather pouch almost? Ah oh, man, don't f*** on Yugi, don't f*** on Yugi He's a cool kid Alright, so personal opinion, what would you give it? I'll give it the BCW flip and tray, I'll give it 4 out of 5 of my personal opinion Which makes your score a... It's a real score, let me just add um... 20... 6.5 You legitimately That's just lost by number. half a point You lost by half a point uh, So, you know what that means? Goodbye, BCW Yeah, so if you want this BCW Flip and trick All you have to do is subscribe yes. Like And press the notification button To join our notification squad Team Sushu oh. And then comment down below on what deck you're going to put into, the, you know, in the deck box. So I want to know. I want to know if I'm sending it out to you, you better be putting like a dope deck in here. Because right now what we have over here inside the deck, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give this you know, deck away. Of course. Oh we're no, not. no 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 yeah, no we're, no we're not. This is the uh, Susu's Susu's Return to Yu-Gi-Oh Dark Magician deck. Oh, man, that's a beautiful deck. It is. It's highest rarity. Everything I spent like three hundred dollars. Anyways. Hey. So um, that's it for today's uh, product review. It's a quick video that that's we want to give it out to you guys. Yep. Um, let's see if we can get like a million likes. Uh, a million likes. A, mi <laughs> a million likes. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's start. I'm, I'm joking. Let, let's start with 10. 10 is a good number. Nah, I'm joking. Let's get a million. Um, but stay tuned. We are planning big things for the channel. Yep. We spent about $2,000. To no. buy new camera equipment that we enjoy buying. Yeah, I loved buying it. We actually study up a lot of it. Yep, and expect amazing things from this channel. Okay, seriously, follow us on Instagram. This is your boy Susu and Jojo signing out.